City escape. Best in the world, you hear me? Hey, Get with me. Yeah. Okay. All right, Clarissa, before I ask you about the fight, you, you seem oh, to really oh, love oh, New oh, York. Oh, Clarissa, can I get this off? Oh, Clarissa, what's up? Yeah, yeah. This is my, my I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt the interview. Yeah, I do. Let's get that selfie. Yeah, Justin, you're in the picture. All right, all right, all right, all right. Clarissa. Clarissa. Yeah, but it, it seems like you love coming to Brooklyn and for Brooklyn, these fights. Move, move Brooklyn is my third home. Uh -huh. I literally love coming here. I think I've been here maybe ten times this year. Sometimes for boxing, sometimes not for boxing. But I literally like coming here. I, I, I like the vibe of Brooklyn. And they show me uh, a, a lot of respect as far as you being a woman fighter and everything. It's so much respect here. So What's the like second home? Because I know Michigan is the first. Home. Michigan, the and then I, I live in Florida. That's okay. where I Florida, live at now. Okay. Boca Raton. And then I live in Florida. Yeah, but it's so it's so peaceful down there. I get to just focus on training. I'm with my family and stuff, so I love Florida. Bye, Julius. Yo, there's the chef. What up? Julius Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. My man in the gym. The champ. My man in the jeans. Yeah, take a look at you real quick. Yeah, it's nice. You think you're going to What's your next fight? November 3rd. Are you fighting what's her name? Here? Yeah. Uh, it's not going to be here, Alex. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to be here. She's on my fucking hit list. November 3rd. Where at? Christina Hammer? We don't know yet. We're trying to like the location right now. Yeah. But it's for sure? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Unless she get injured or some bullshit. But other than that, we should be going. You guys don't like each other now? Or what? Does this seem respectful at first? But. It was respectful at first until every time I win a world title, you're jumping in the ring, being disrespectful. And then just like how she is on social media, like her fans saying disrespectful stuff when she liking their comments. Like, I don't play games like that. Like, I don't do that. Like, I'm the type of person to confront somebody to their face. And she's never said anything to my face. So, so the fact that she's on the internet doing those type of things, just like, she just building a digger hole for herself so I can put her in it. It's all. Do you want to stop her? Not just win I want to, I, I definitely want to perform at a very high level against Hammer and I want to knock her out. Yep. And I want, before we, I ask you about Porter and Garcia, I want to talk about female boxing because I see you on social media and, and about the wage gap. Yeah. That's something that you've been talking about with other female fighters. Could you break that down a little bit? When you, do you feel like it's... What, uh, what, what needs to be done? There, There is no do I feel like there's a wage gap. There is a wage gap. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, um, if, if it wasn't... We have examples. Men that who are two-time Olympic gold, uh, gold medalists. Um, let's say Lomachenko, Rigondeaux. Uh, is it just us? <laughs> what? Well, just as far as in the men, you know, they're making millions of dollars fighting mm -hmm. world champions. I'm fighting world champions and I'm making... 75k 100k 150k and it's like you know it's still so much that has to be done you know what i mean and i'm fighting world champions and knocking them out you know what i mean like i knocked out the first girl when i won my first world title uh, nikki allen she was 16 0 and nine knockouts i was only three and oh that was my fourth fight you know I was, i'm putting myself at a huge risk and then i'm also going down in weight to fight these girls like i just fought against hannah gabriel's at 160 for, for the IBF and the WBO. And then, you know, finna, then I'm about to fight Hammer at 160 and we're gonna unify. I mean, we're gonna, what, be the undisputed, you know, cause she has two belts and I have two belts at middleweight. Mm -hmm. And it's like, when you have two champions of that caliber fighting each other, that's like Triple G versus Canelo. You know, where's the, where's the, you know, pay? So. Well, well, don't take my head off. They're just, I'm just gonna tell you what they would say on the comment, you know, people that watch it, they would say, it's economics. Whatever the fight draws is what you make. But do you feel like that's a symptom? Like that's a symptom of people not giving the, the love to, to women's fighting that they deserve so the numbers would be there? Or what do you think? Um, they're going to say so many different reasons. They try to say that women's boxing have mis mismatches. They they try to say that everybody is in a Clarissa okay. Shields and not an A-plus fighter. And my response to that is neither are the men. All the fighters are not Errol Spence or Keith Thurman or Triple G or, or Canelo. You got some fighters that be on TV and you be looking at the TV like, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. So, you know, they they need to show all the levels of the women fights the same way. You know, it's, we, we have our own fans and how do you know that we have fans or not if, if you never put us on TV. I did 410K views in my fight. That's without us having a press conference two months before. That's without us doing a doing a press tour. That's with me just 
going crazy on my social media, reaching out to my boxing brothers and my sisters, telling them to post my fight and to let everybody know to watch my fight. That's me. But imagine if they would have gave us the two months before the fight press conference and then a press tour and then all this stuff that you do for the men. You know, it'd be it'd be more hype and more and more people would know about it. You know, and maybe we would did a million views. Mm -hmm. You know, who knows? But that's just what we did, just off of a week of me putting stuff on my social media. You know, so and then and then you know, Showtime also put stuff on their Facebook, but it's just not as big as they try to promote the men. And, they, and we just gotta get to where we just equal. Mm -hmm. Get the same it. amount of promotion. Same amount of promotion. Yeah, like Amanda Serrano, she did. We didn't get her fight on TV tonight. Right, and, and yeah. I mean, no, uh, no disrespect to you guys, but. Amanda Serrano fight was more entertaining than his. And I'm not going to say that Juke's fault. Maybe that's his opponent's fault. But Amanda Serrano fight was way more entertaining than their fight and was. history was on the line. Absolutely. She became a six-time a six division world champion. Mm -hmm. Up in six different weight classes. That's, that's huge. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know how a woman could do that because it, it's harder to, to, to make it turn the fat into muscle, isn't it? But she did it about 28 pounds. She came from 22 all the way up to 140. Right. And the girl she fought was a was a was a real tough girl because <laughs> she wasn't going anywhere. She tried to lay all 150 pounds on Amanda. So I think Amanda handled herself well. She made the right adjustment.